Hello, welcome to part one of our Lily Basics Guide. Reminder that this is game version 4.2 and a reminder that we're now on a two-part format. This first part will be essential tools, which will include essential moves, grabs, punishers, and basic combos. In part two, we'll talk about common game plan elements and recommend some players to watch, as well as cap it off with a character summary. For beginners, note the resource links in the video description below. I've included several you should check out. Be sure to at least learn notation so you can follow along easier. Enough of that, let's talk about Tekken's Resident Sports. Boiled rich girl. We'll talk more about Lily's back turn and crouch dash in part two since they operate like stances, but make note of the transition moves in this list. This includes while standing full crouch moves since those are essential to know but are more useful to discuss as elements of her crouch dash game. Lily's 1 and 1-2 are mostly standard. She does have two enders for more cover. 1-2-4 is a safe, low-crushing, knockdown, splatting power mid, but slow, so it can be floated or stepped. 1-2-3 is a high-crushing low, only negative 2 on hit, knockdown on counter hit. It has a surprising amount of tracking and comes out considerably faster than 1-2-4, so something to keep in mind. Otherwise, you have 2-4 and 2-3, both of which are natural combos. 2-4 is her go-to 10-frame punisher, safe, knockdown, splatter, but duckable. You can delay it two although it ceases to be a natural combo when delayed. 2-3 is the same ender as 1-2-3. All of these aren't fancy, just largely things to help cover your jabs and give you more mental frames. Standing 3 is an I-15 mid kick that leaves you back turn. Very dangerous by itself since it's negative 11 on block, so you're very exposed. However, you have two natural combo string options. 3-1 is an unsafe power mid wall bouncer. Very good as a punisher, especially at the wall if you think your hop kick or down forward 2 won't reach. 3-2 is a safe poke ender, but high. You have a third hit for cover, but it too is high. 3-2 forward can be nasty if they're not ducking since it goes to her crouch dash at only negative 2 on block and plus 5 on hit. 4-3 is a safe I-20 mid homing knee. The biggest issue here is range and she has both forward forward 3 and a running 3 so trying to do it from a dash to compensate is tough. It does counter hit launch though so it's good for close range setups and since it's now negative 3 at worst it can also be used as a setup starter. Forward 4 is a safe I-17 rangy power mid, knockdown splat on hit, counter hit launch which is new to season 4, poor tracking but otherwise an amazing tool. Forward 1 plus 2 is a safe I-14 power mid, plus 3 on hit and puts them in full crouch, slam on counter hit for a free grounded follow up. Incredibly quick for all that it does. Down forward 1 is an I-13 mid poke, negative 1 on block, plus 7 on hit, a generic but excellent simple poking tool. Down forward 2 is an I-16 mid launcher, only negative 11 which is virtually unheard of for a true mid launcher that's that fast. This will be a go to punisher so always have this locked and loaded. Down 4-3 is an I-20 power mid, plus 3 on block, plus 8 on hit, and forces crouch in both instances, so it's a very common pressure tool. It also launches on counter hit. Like many of her tools, the big issue is tracking, but otherwise a fantastic move. Down 4-3 four, plus 4 is a very long range mid launcher that goes into back turn. At worst, it's negative 4 on block, and you have an additional hit for cover, so this is extremely common both as a long range punisher or launch fishing tool, and as an easy way to start some back turn games. Down 1-2 is an I-18 low high natural combo. The first hit is 0 on hit, high crushes, and you can stay in full crouch by holding down. However, down 1-2 is plus 3 on hit and gives the option to go back turn with down 1-2 back. So it's a really good way to get to back turn with plus frames. There is also a safe mid third hit which is uninterruptible which is important for people trying to step or challenge your back turn transition. Overall, a really versatile string. Down 3 is an I-19 low poke, only negative 12 on block, plus 1 on hit, plus 5 on counter hit, really good tracking to her left, and good range. Usually considered her best low, so use often. Down 4 is an I-12 high crushing low poke with good tracking. Lily has those long legs, which makes it even better. Toe kicks specialize in controlling space and pace, so never underestimate their power. Infamous Matterhorn. Here's the thing. This isn't essential in the sense that it should be a regular move you should be using since it's risky. However, it is fairly quick at I-17 with a big active window and really good evasion. It crushes highs and will go under some mids. So restrict your use of it to either punishing or YOLO against opponents being overly aggressive with their quick highs. 
back one is a safe I-17 mid poke, plus two on hit, but a massive plus nine if you press forward to go into crouch dash. Even on block, the crouch dash transition is still plus one, so it's really common as a crouch dash entry. You also have back one four, which is not only a natural combo splatter, and it can splat from really far out too, but it can protect you against mashers. And negative 11 is not bad for that kind of a move. Another versatile string. Back to one is another versatile string. It's a safe I-13 high mid natural combo poke string. The first hit has garbage range, but thankfully the second hit moves you forward quite a bit. It does really good damage for what it is, but you can also go to both back turn and crouch dash from it or you can finish the string if you think they're going to challenge the transitions. Back to one always gives a big plus seven on hit regardless of whether you transition and at only negative four on block, you still have plenty of options. Up back one is a safe I-16 power mid, still has range and tracking issues, so nothing fancy, just a nice little hammer strike. Up forward three is Lily's hop kick, I-15 mid low crushing launcher, negative 13 on block, so all standard there. Hers low crush is a little late, but it also has an unusually big active window, which is linked to the longer range she has on hers, still best as an emergency crush tool. Up forward four is an I-28 rangy low crushing mid. The extension is a pretty powerful, safe knockdown wall bouncing power mid that is also a natural combo, though be careful since it can be stepped. However, the strength of the extension is to provide cover for up forward four back, which on hit can give you upwards of plus nine, although plus seven or so is more common. Spacing it makes a huge difference since at worst it's negative seven on block, but it can be as good as negative three or negative four. That variability plus the bounce ender can make it tough to defend against, so it's a decent option to get back turn pressure going. Forward 42 is an I-18 mid power crush launcher, negative 17 on block, so considerable risk, but it's on the fast side for a power crush and the launch element makes it really scary. The bigger issue is probably the forward forward input since that's hard to do under pressure. So don't abuse it, but make sure they know it's there. And if you want something a tad safer and easier to do, but not as much reward, you can use down one plus two for your power crush option. 443 is an I-22 low crushing mid launcher, negative 12, but you can press forward to go into crouch dash, which makes it negative three. It doesn't impact your ability to juggle and it can be canceled to make the move completely safe. So that's what you'll normally want to do. 443 three plus four is a safe mid ender for more cover, although it is steppable, so be careful with that. Regardless, 443 is one of Lily's best moves now that it launches on normal hit and it's a true mix up option to the next move on our list. Ford Ford 4 is an I-22 power low, negative 12 on block, which is really good on lows, plus four on hit and a big plus nine on counter hit. You can also go back turn with Ford Ford 4 back. Just be aware that it becomes a launch punishable on block if you do that. Since it has pretty good tracking, thanks to the Ford Ford input, speed and range are its big issues. The Ford Ford input helps mitigate the range issue as well. And so long as you're mixing up your approach options well, again, think Ford Ford 3 here, you should be able to hide it, although the slower speed will still leave you open to counter hits. Regardless, it's still one of your stronger lows, just be careful with it. Speaking of approach tools, forward forward one plus two is a safe I-18 homing knockdown splatting power mid. You can hold it to make it do more damage or turn it into an unblockable, in which case it is still a mid, so useful if they're super turtled up. Either way, a good tool to mix in on approach on occasion. More approach options, forward forward three plus four is simply a more souped up version of her one, two, four ender. It's quicker, a tad safer on block and does more damage. Just a flat out traditional power mid, so it's fairly simple to use. Both of these are safe knockdown splatting power mids, roughly the same speed as well. Sidestep one plus two is considerably safer, so better for setups and it will launch on counter hit. But sidestep three has a tad more range, so it's a little easier to space and it hits grounded, so it's more applicable in oaky situations. Either way, they aren't hard to use and can give you safer, albeit not launcher options off a sidestep. Lily's Rage Drive is an I-22 mid-high natural combo launcher that does jail, plus nine on block, but tons of pushback, except at the wall, which is where that becomes useful. Essentially just a souped up version of her down forward three plus four. The big issue is speed, but otherwise it provides a lot of benefits. Sadly, Lily doesn't have much of a grab game. She only has one command grab, so landing a grab will be tough against decent defensive players. Good news there is that most of her grabs can at least get you away from the wall on hit or break, so keep that in mind. She does also have a standard chickenable reversal. It activates early and has a small window, so be mindful of that.
This brings us to the end of part one. You should now know all the basic tools that you need to get started with Lily and start playing some matches. In part two, we'll talk more about other aspects of her game plan to help put it all together. Expect that here in a couple of days. And with that, thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications here on YouTube so that you get alerted when a new video drops. I also have Twitch and Twitter links down below. Lastly, big thank you to our patrons, Tato, Overhaul, XMRT, and Samson. The more support we have, the more resources we can devote to channel content. So again, thank you to those four and everyone that considers supporting the Patreon. Stay safe and we'll catch you next time.